1956, a black and white film was made of the city of Bristol. Here's what Al Varley Dell said about it then. It is a city of half a million people, the fifth port of England, the commercial and distributing centre for the West Country. To the casual eye, it's a huddle of roofs, a cluster of spires, a labyrinth of streets. But to the people of Bristol, who know and understand their city, these buildings and these streets, these roofs and these spires, all these tell a story, the story of how a city grew. It was the merchants trading Irish grain and Cotswold wool for French and Spanish wine who brought prosperity to Bristol. Many of Bristol's traditional glass and metal industries died out in competition with the North. But one industry that still thrives today is aerospace. Aircraft for a nation's supremacy in the air. Braemar, Beardmore, Brandon, Bloodhound, Barclay, Bearhound, Beaver, Bagshot, Bulldog, Bombay, Lenin, Beaufort, Bowfighter, Bisley, Buckingham, Brigham, Brabazon, Britannia, now it is the air to be conquered, once it was the sea, before that it was a river that had to be bridged. The story is the same throughout history, only the scale changes. In the 1950s, Filton and nearby Patchway were one of the epicentres of design and manufacturing for British civil and military aircraft. In fact, there's been evolution and production evolving here for well over a hundred years. The British and Colonial Aeroplane Company, the Bristol Aeroplane Company, the Bristol Engine Company, Bristol Aero Engines, Bristol Sidley, Rolls-Royce, the British Aircraft Corporation, British Aerospace, BAE Systems, and now GKN and Airbus. Wings for the whole Airbus family are designed here. They're also built here for the A400M military transport aircraft, which operates in military and humanitarian arenas all over the world. Teams of engineers and technologists work here on design, engineering, fuel systems and landing gear integration. But this assembly hall, the Brabazon hangar, now lying unused and unloved. Concord was born here. English Heritage has said that although it is steeped in history, it is otherwise unremarkable, so they haven't bothered to list it. But just consider this. It has room enough for four jumbo jets. When it was built, just after World War II, it had the largest window and doors anywhere in the world, and it was the second most voluminous building in existence. Just putting it together, stretched steel structure design beyond anything that had gone before. So what does the future hold for one of the world's great industrial buildings? It's uncertain. We do know that thousands of homes are planned for the runway. We do know that a museum celebrating 100 years of Bristol's innovation and enterprise in the aerospace industry will be housed in these listed First World War hangars. And alongside, a new building for Concord will be dedicated to preserving and displaying the Grand Old Lady.